NASA's Mars helicopter was supposed to have taken off on a brief flight from the Martian surface on April 11. It would have been the first powered flight on another planet. But as engineers checked its hardware, they found a problem with the helicopter's rotors. That led them to postpone the test launch to ensure that the small helicopter would be safe to fly. Since then, they have been working on a way to solve the issue and proceed with the test mission. But now it sounds like we'll have to be a little more patient. The most robust way of dealing with the issue is to give the helicopter a software update. NASA engineers have concluded that the 4-pound helicopter needs to have its flight control software updated. In other words, our little friend needs a software patch before it can fly. What makes it hard for a helicopter to fly on Mars? For one thing, the thin Martian atmosphere makes it difficult to achieve enough lift. Because the atmosphere of Mars is 99% less dense than Earth's. The helicopter has to be light, with rotor blades that are much larger and spin much faster than what would be required for a helicopter of this mass on Earth. It can also get very cold at Juzero Crater. Nights there dip down to minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. While Ingenuity's team on Earth has tested the helicopter at Martian temperatures and believes it should work on Mars as intended, the cold will push the design limits of many of Ingenuity's parts. In addition, flight controllers at NASA won't be able to control the helicopter with a joystick. Communication delays are an inherent part of working with spacecraft across interplanetary distances. Commands will need to be sent well in advance, with engineering data coming back from the spacecraft long after each flight takes place. Ingenuity is a small robot drone with the mass of just 1.8 kilograms. It weighs 4 pounds on Earth and 1.5 pounds in Martian gravity. It rode to Mars on the belly of NASA's Perseverance rover. Perseverance landed on the Red Planet on February 18, with a primary objective of collecting and sealing rock specimens for return to Earth by a future mission. NASA gave Ingenuity 31 days to complete its flight experiments from the time Perseverance deployed the helicopter. Since then, the six-wheeled rover has driven to an observation location roughly 60 meters from Ingenuity's flight zone. Perseverance will try to take pictures and video of Ingenuity's first flight, which engineers expect will last around 40 seconds as the drone takes off to an altitude of about 10 feet, momentarily hovers there, then rotates to point in a different direction before landing back on its four carbon fiber legs. If the first flight is successful as NASA hopes, Ingenuity could fly four more times in subsequent weeks, trying more daring flight profiles, before wrapping up the test flight campaign in early May. The update will modify the process by which the two flight controllers boot up. This will allow the hardware and software to safely transition to the flight state. The team isn't sure how long this process will take. Completing the uplink to the helicopter could take some time, since Mars is currently about 280 million miles away. Ingenuity will also be completing a high-speed spin-up test before taking its first-ever flight. The best estimate of a targeted flight date is fluid right now, but NASA will set a flight date next week. Despite its need for a software update, the helicopter is still healthy on the Martian surface, with its power, communications and heating technology working fine. Perseverance, the rover that carried Ingenuity to the surface, is continuing to work as normal and is preparing to test its own instruments. Ingenuity's flight is only seen as a test of the technology rather than as scientific research. NASA has repeatedly noted that the development of the helicopter was done with a high-risk, high-reward approach and that there are significant risks inherent in attempting to carry such equipment to a distant planet and then fly through its very thin atmosphere. Once this mission becomes a success, NASA will then get to work deploying more helicopters to Mars and other planets. NASA has already planned to send a drone to Saturn's largest moon Titan. Titan is an analog to the very early Earth. It can provide clues to how life may have evolved on our planet. During its 2.7-year mission, the drone will explore diverse environments of Titan. The mission is named Dragonfly, it will launch in 2026 and arrive at Titan in 2034.